好，二零二三年第三十一條 M C 咧，就係、是、問下有關一啲細胞運輸嘅嘢嘅。而家咧就講緊啦，有隻單細胞生物啦，就浸咗喺啲海水個船。而下面呢幅圖咧，就想顯示下呢個單細胞生物入面嘅離子濃度啦，同埋呢個浸住嘅海水嘅離子濃度嘅分別嘅。所以我哋下面有呢幅圖啦，離子 X 咧就喺個單細胞生物入面咧，濃度低啲。喺個海水咧就多一啲嘅，而離子 Y 咧喺個單細胞生物入面就多啲，喺個海水入面咧相反就係少啲嘅。咁題目就問啦，下面邊一句咧係最似係會發生得到，從而咧就維持到而家我哋眼見呢一幅圖嘅狀態咧？咁而家咧成條題目咧就考翻我哋有關於擴散啦，同埋主動運輸嘅分別啦，例如啦粒子移動嘅方向啦，需唔需要能量啦？同埋啦，亦都考緊我哋有關於濃度階梯或者濃度梯度嘅概念啦。咁過往啦都有一段片咧就拍曬㗎啦，擴散滲透主動運輸有咩嘅分別或者相同之處咧？快啲睇下片温下書咯。咁呢個題目啦，亦都考翻我哋有關於一啲技能啦，就係、是、閱讀圖表啦，就要明白得到啦。喂，究竟咧喺呢個離子 X 啦、離子 Y 啦，喺個單細胞生物嘅細胞質同埋喺個海水嗰個濃度梯度。嘅分別，邊個高邊個低，會發生擴散、滲透定係主動運輸？咁而家咧，我哋就嚟做一擊破咯、哦。第一句咧，佢就講啦，離子 X 咧係會離開嗰個生物，啊透過咩辦法啊？透過擴散。咁你又諗下啦，啊有冇可能咧？咁你睇咗翻幅圖啦，離子 X 咧喺個單細胞嘅生物入面咧就係少啲嘅，喺出面咧就多啲嘅。咁即係話其實個濃度階梯咧應該係講緊。由個細胞入面就為之低，喺個細胞出面就為之高。咁而家啦，嚇、啊、啲離子要離開只細胞，咁點會可能係用擴散啊？因為擴散係冇能量牽涉喺其中，佢邊有得逆向走去一個高濃度呢？咁所以啦 ，A 呢個情況呢，係不會發生嘅。咁啊，因為離子 X 咧係不能夠透過擴散去逆向行走個濃度階梯，所以 A 呢，就錯咗咯。去到 B 啦，佢就話離子 X 咧係能夠進入到個生物啊，透過咩辦法？透過主動運輸。誒、欸、呢一句似似地喎，兩 Sir 係嘛？嗱，出面高濃度係嘛，入面低濃度啊，咁有啲離子其實可以入去嘅，入去得嚟做主動運輸都有機會、哦。呢句都係錯，不過呢一句咧係一個好強勁嘅 distract。咁啊，因為啦 ，Ion X 咧。其實佢真係可以入得到嗰個細胞入面，無論透過擴散或者同埋呢個主動運輸一齊做，就好似我哋個小腸咁，嗰、那個葡萄糖啊、氨基酸啊，我哋要完整咁吸曬佢翻嚟。咁所以我哋咪要用主動運輸吸曬佢咯，係咪？不過係呢幅圖，我鬼知佢有冇用到能量咩？係咪問題喺呢度啊嘛？啊，聽落去呢句好好噶，問題就係喺幅圖，你有證據去顯示到佢有做到主動運輸咩？冇嘛，咁佢咪唔似咯，係嘛？人哋問你邊句最似啊嘛？咁跟住啦 ，B 又錯埋咯，跟住啦就去到 C 咯 ，I N Y 咧，佢就能夠進入到個細胞啊，透過咩辦法？透過主動運輸，誒、欸，似似地樣啦，因為點解啊？睇翻幅圖先啊嚇，睇翻幅圖咧，你見得到啦，喺嗰個細胞入面咧。個的確係高濃度喎，喺個海水咧就低濃度喎，即係濃度階梯係咁嘅樣嘅。啊，咁而家啦，嗰啲離子咧就由低濃度入去個細胞入面，咦？低濃度去高濃度，逆向行走喎，逆走我哋個濃度階梯喎。喺呢個情況底下，你就知道啦。如果佢係要逆向走動嘅，自不然就需要能量去幫手啦，係咪啊？所以 C 呢一句咧就正確啦。今日有啲偷精神，搞掂埋 D 佢啦。咁佢又講咯 ，I N Y 咧就能夠離開個生物啦，又透過咩辦法？又係透過主動運輸。嗱呢句咧又係錯嘅。其實咁頭先 option C 咧就由低至高，喂今次咧就高至低喎、哦。OK， 高至低，咁其實佢行擴散都好夠啦，係咪？啊，咁你話有冇主動運輸啊？可能有，但係你幅圖有講俾你聽咩？你又知佢有用能量，但系头先 C 嗰句，佢真系逆向行走个浓度阶梯啊嘛，佢必然用能量噶嘛，但系 D 呢句
的确冇证据显示佢系有做过主动运输、哦，所以啦，啲咧都系错嘅答案。咁过往咧都有唔少题目啦，问下矿山啦，吓问下氨基酸嘅吸收啦，呢一款题目咧睇个结果得出结论咧都系直线抽击答题法嚟嘅。咁啊，快快手睇下篇文啦，输啦噃。Two two three MC question thirty one is about the cellular transport. So let's take a look at the graph. It shows the concentration of the ions in a unicellular organism and sea water surrounding it. So we have the ion next. We can see that the concentration of the ion in the unicellular organism is a、uh, relatively lower, and in the sea water is a bit higher. And for the ion Y. The concentration of the ion in the unicellular organism is higher than that in the sea water. So the question is asking that which of the following is most likely to occur in order to maintain the condition shown in the above graph. So the whole question is checking as the concept that how can we distinguish diffusion from the active transport, the movement of the particles, the direction, energy needed or not. So, and we also need to recall the concentration gradient concept. And surely, this question is checking us the skills graph reading. We need to identify the concentration gradient of the ion X and Y between the cytoplasm of the unicellular organism and the sea water. Okay, so you can watch the video for the revision about the cellular transport, diffusion, osmosis, and active transport. Okay, so let's take a look at the options A, B, C, D. For the option A, ion X move out of the organism by diffusion. Now, from the graph, you can see that in the unicellular organism, lower concentration in the seawater, higher concentration. So, what is the concentration gradient? It should be like this, and this side is the cells. So, option A it says that the ion will move out of the organism by diffusion. So it means that it's just moving against the concentration gradient. Can it be done by diffusion? No, no, no. Because diffusion, there is no energy required, and then we cannot move the ion against the concentration gradient. Therefore, option A is wrong. Then option A is wrong. We can say goodbye to it. And then for option B, ion X move into the organism. By active transport. Oh, so for this time, it is not moving out; it's moving in along the concentration gradient. So is it correct? It's still wrong. However, it is a powerful distractor. The ion X can move into the organism by diffusion or in active transport. It's just like the food absorption in the small intestine. Glucose and amino acid molecules they are absorbed by the facilitated diffusion and active transport in order to achieve complete absorption. So it could be valid. However, there is not enough evidence to prove this statement is correct. Therefore, option B is wrong. And then for option C, iron Y move into the organism by active transport. So let's see the graph. Iron Y. In the unicellular organism, high concentration. In the sea water, low concentration. So the concentration gradient will be like this, and then this side is the cell. So the ions move into the cell by active transport. It means that the ion they are moving against the concentration gradient, right? So based on the graph, there is a higher concentration of ion Y in the organism than that in the sea water. Therefore, the organism need to uptake the iron Y from the seawater against the concentration gradient. That means we need energy, right? So it is active transport, and that's the graph really show you the evidence. Therefore, option C is correct. And then for option D, iron Y moves out of the organism by active transport. This statement is also wrong. According to the concentration gradient, maybe the iron Y can move out of the cell by what? By diffusion, or and active transport. Yes, it could be valid. However, there is still no evidence for us to deduce it is active transport like the case in the option B. Therefore, option D 
is not the direct conclusion. So it is the wrong answer. So you can see that in the past, there are several questions about the diffusion, absorption. And for this question, we also need to use the data to draw the conclusion. So we still need the technique of straight to the point.